Here are 10 quick and useful tips for Blender. Tip number one, operator panel. You start by adding an object and change some settings in the operator panel. Then you accidentally click somewhere else and it is gone. To bring it back, just go to edit and select adjust last operation or just simply press F9. You can now access the operator panel again and you can even drag it around. Tip number two, viewport cavity. You are working on a complex scene and can't really differentiate which object is which from the model. Go to the viewport shading settings, change it from studio to matcap and turn on the cavity setting. Now it's kind of like you have ambient occlusion on in the viewport. Try it out and see for yourself if this helps. Tip number three, material link. You have multiple objects, but don't want to assign the same material to all of them manually by hand. Simply select all the objects you want to have the material on and go to object link data and press link materials. It's easy as that, but make sure if you select them one by one, the last object you select should be the object with the material on it that you want to link to rest. That's a super fast way to transfer the materials to other objects. Tip number four, startup file. You are annoyed about the startup objects or just want something different in a startup file. Delete everything and add whatever you like in the startup file, maybe just a simple plane. After that, go to file, defaults and select save startup file. Now, if you load up a new scene, the things you saved will always be in there, such as my plane, for example. Go and create your own startup file. Tip number five, orbit shot. You want to hover around an object with the camera. Add an empty. To see it better, let's scale it up. Select the camera and also select the empty. Press Ctrl and P and select object. Now, if you rotate the empty, the camera rotates with it. All you need to do now is to animate the rotation of the empty and you are done. You have a nice orbit effect. Tip number six, align on surface. You want to place an object on a surface of another object, but don't want to rotate it until it looks good. Activate snap, select face project. The snap width to center or closest, whatever suits you, and activate the align rotation to target. Now, if you move an object on the surface, it automatically snaps in the right place. Tip number seven, scale texture. You want to extrude or scale your object, but it messes up your texture. While in edit mode, go to the world tool settings and under options, select correct face attribute. Now, if you start scaling or extruding the object, the texture will stay the same. Tip number eight, delete material. You have added multiple materials, but want to delete some of them. For some reason, there is no obvious option to delete materials in Blender, don't ask me why. Go to the outliner and select the Blender file option. There under materials, you can see all of them, and with right click, you can even delete them. Tip number nine, extrude. You want to extrude everything outwards, but somehow it doesn't work. Little side note, if you press Alt and then left click, you can loop select. After that, press Alt and E, which brings up many options. Select extrude faces along normal and you can extrude everything outwards. You can even select extrude individual faces to disconnect them from each other. Tip number 10, flip object. You want to flip an object without a mirror modifier, but somehow it doesn't look good no matter what you do. Use this simple shortcut. Duplicate the object. After that, press Ctrl and M. Nothing happens after that because now you have to press X, E, Y, or Z depending on which axis you want your object to be flipped. I selected X and the object flipped perfectly on the X axis. I hope some tips were useful to you and give me a comment if you want more of it. Have a nice day.